This is probably not the first time I've had a real big smile on my face uh, coming into uh, a press conference about our our finances. State officials say Hawaii's asset growth has outpaced liability growth for the first time in seven years. Governor Neil Abercrombie held a news conference on Monday to announce the public release of the 2013 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, or CAFR, of the state of Hawaii. The report measures the state's overall fiscal health. That's, in effect, your cash account. That's the, the uh, cash flow for your household. Our, our Hawaii family household for one year. We've gone from the, the negative, the 200 uh, million plus in, in 2010 uh, to the 840 plus million dollar positive balance uh, this year. That's your cash account. That's, that's your cash flow for a year. What the comprehensive annual financial report shows is what your a financial accounting is, your net worth. What are your assets versus your liabilities? Your assets minus your liabilities. The value of what you have versus the value of what you owe. And as you can see, we started out in 2005, steadily stead, stead downward path in 2009. We start moving upwards. That is to say, the negative side was decreasing. And because of the fiscal management, our capacity to take care of everything from the assets of our buildings and our properties to what our unfunded liabilities would be over time, our net assets, we've punched over the negative line into this extraordinarily uh, uh, encouraging uh, positive side right now. This, we're able to make this distinction now because when we came in, you may recall that the credit rating agencies had us in the negative side because among other, among other things, even though they, they, they might be able to pick up on what was done in a given year, we were a couple hundred million in the hole, not, not a good thing. They also couldn't tell how did that relate to the actual worth of the state, the net assets of the state versus its liabilities. Because when we came in, the comprehensive annual financial report was as much as 16 months behind. Now, the ideal is to try to get it down within six months. The fiscal year ends, say, June 30th. Within six months, you want to be able to, to say to anybody who wants to know, where are you? How stable are you? Or unstable are you? Within six months, you need to be able to do that. We've pulled that time down. The governor was joined by Comptroller Dean Secchi and Finance Director Calvert Young. Uh, the leadership of the governor in directing us to, to complete the CAFR in a timely manner, um, he knows how important it is, and uh, it's, it's no small feat, though. When you look at the award of excellence from the Government Finance Officers Association, uh, which, by the way, is the first time in the past five years that the state's been able to get that award. I think that demonstrates the amount of effort that it takes and the path and progress that the state has made with the legislative branch and the executive branch. When I have said in, in the past, and I'll say again today, look, these are serious questions that can't be pushed down the road. And so when, when Calvert and, and, the, and the budget and finance team came in and told me, look, this has to be a priority. We simply have to do it. If, we're, if we intend to get investors back with confidence in Hawaii, this is what has to be done. And so, we, of course, we tried to get more resources uh, put there, personnel and otherwise. But I said, this has to be a priority. No matter what else happens, we're going to report the comprehensive annual financial audit on time. Uh, I don't care what the excuses were in the past. This is what needs to be done if we're truly going to bring Hawaii back into the forefront of, uh, of, uh, of, of confidence with regard to investors and, and credit rating agencies. And uh, you see the dividends that are coming from that decision. Governor, how much um, credit do you give to legislative leaders, uh, including the gentleman who's actually running against you, uh, for, uh, for you know, helping the state arrive at uh, such a big circle? Well, I'm, very, I'm always pleased to share credit uh, when people realize that they can't avoid their responsibilities anymore and, uh, and, and take it up. All I can say is this, 
that uh, when you want to claim credit uh, when things are going right, I think it's fair to say, are you also claiming responsibility when, when things were going south, when they weren't, when they're in the negative stage? All I can say to you is, is that when we came into office, we started riding the ship. The numbers started going in the right direction. That's a, a question of leadership. We went to the legislature and said, this is where we're going. These are the decisions we have to make. Here, this, this is the direction we need to go. So uh, they had the opportunity before they didn't do it. Um, so I'm quite pleased uh, to be able to say that the, the legislature responded uh, positively to the leadership that was exhibited by the people in this administration. And uh, I'm, I, 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 I uh, uh, played the hand I was dealt. When we came in and, and, and we had the, the deficit, when we did not have the rep comprehensive financial reports being done on time, I put my arms around it and said, that's going to stop. I went to the legislature and said, this is it. This is what has to be passed. This is what has to be done. This is the direction we need to go in. You cannot avoid your responsibilities any longer. Now, all I'm saying to those who want to claim credit, welcome. Happy to do it. Uh, arms around everybody. But by the same token, then, it seems to me that anybody claiming credit also needs to claim, take responsibility when things were going the other way and nothing got done.